let's start the new topic gravitational intensity this intensity word is related to a particular field so it is basically the topic of gravitational field so you observe this event many times the gravitational force on a body by the other body so it is basically f12 type equation so such kind of relation is given by newton's universal law of gravitation and it is also known as law of gravitation and here if you see that it is basically the action at a distance so this event is basically so why they have written over here the distance because if you see the formula of force acting on a body which is terminated by other body then such kind of relation is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so this process or this event is called action at a distance and here the force which is existing on a body is separated by some distance and this distance is explained to occur through the field and so now it is necessary that we should understand which kind of fields are affecting this distance so the first one is so the first kind of field is preferred by every object and that are producing a gravitational field around it due to its mass so basically such kind of gravitational field is coming into the picture due to their mass and hence we have considered in the newton's law of gravitation the product of masses of the body and now such kind of field exerts a force on another body which is brought in this field and hence it is important that we should study about such kind of field and this field is known as the gravitational field and now we will see the actual definition of gravitational field which is well known term 
defined by gravitational intensity also so the definition is given in this way the gravitational force exerted by the given body on a body of unit mass at a given point is called the intensity of the gravitational field and it is denoted by i vector at that point so this intensity is basically the value of force which is exerted on a body of unit mass at given point and so this particular term is also known as either gravitational field or gravitational intensity so any one word you can use for determining the gravitational field or gravitational intensity now if we use over here the newton's law of gravitation so we can write down the formula for gravitational intensity i with the help of Newton's law of gravitation and now for that i am consider a body which is having mass capital m and it is at the origin of the coordinate system means it is at o point so the gravitational intensity due to this body at same point p at p point suppose i have to find out the gravitational intensity i so it is given by minus g m m but here which is having the unit mass as we have seen in the definition of gravitational intensity divided by the square of the distance between them that is r square into r cap that is the unit vector so i can write down a general formula that is gravitational intensity i is equal to minus gm over r 
square into R cap and that is equation number 1 or you can say the result number 1. Now here, what will be the unit vector means R cap. So here, basically the unit vector is the distance between two points that means OP vector. And it is a unit distance. And so, I can write down the magnitude of I is equal to capital I that is GM over R square. Because we know in the magnitude the negative sign turns into positive sign. As we know, about how to find out the dimensional formula and units so we can easily find out of this. So the unit of gravitational intensity that is Newton upon kilogram and the dimensional formula of I is given by M0 L1 T minus 2. So this is the dimensional formula and unit can be asked in your one mark MCQ type of question. Now we have the value of this gravitational intensity and so according to Newton's second law I can write down this equation about force that is I into M. So here basically what we have considered the gravitational intensity as the acceleration part that is equal to minus Gm into small m over R square into unit vector R cap and so this is the second most important result in this theory. Now this equation shows that this gravitational intensity is having the same value as that of gravitational acceleration g. But these two quantities are different in units as well as their equivalency. And so it is obvious that if you plot I versus R graph. So it will be same as that of G versus R. So it is not necessary that we should plot a characteristic but you have to remember that if anyone asked in graphical types of question that which of the following is the correct relation and they have written in this way GR and IR both are having the same value then you should have to correct that and that is the correct answer and with this our gravitational intensity topic is over and we will solve one important illustration given in your textbook that is illustration number 7